Today, we delve into a mysterious and mesmerizing event in the life of the curly-haired and all other tarantulas. Join me as we witness an extraordinary event in the life of these incredible arachnids, the molting process. Our journey begins in the lush heart of the Amazon rainforest, where the curly-haired tarantula, scientifically known as Chilocotyl avipulosis, calls home. This enchanting spider, known for its fluffy appearance and gentle demeanor, is about to undergo a transformation like no other. As we approach the curly-haired tarantula's burrow, we find her in the midst of a crucial moment in her life. The molting process. Molting is a remarkable event where the tarantula sheds its old exoskeleton to make way for a new one. Unlike mammals, which grow continuously, tarantulas have a rigid exoskeleton that does not expand. As they grow, their exoskeleton becomes too small and restrictive. Molting allows them to shed the old tight exoskeleton and emerge with a new, larger one. The frequency of molting varies among tarantula species and can depend on factors like age, gender, and environmental conditions. Young tarantulas molt more frequently than adults, and males typically molt more often than females. Before molting, tarantulas often display specific behaviors. They may have a shiny abdomen, become lethargic, refuse to eat, and even become very reclusive. The curly-haired tarantula meticulously prepares for this process by creating a soft, silk-lined bed, a web mat of sorts. Then she begins the painstaking process of slowly shedding her old exoskeleton. As the tarantula prepares to molt, it secretes a fluid that helps soften the exoskeleton, making it easier to break out of. This fluid contains enzymes that help digest the old exoskeleton from the inside. During molting, the tarantula lies on its back and splits its old exoskeleton along the cephalothorax and its abdomen. It then slowly pulls itself out through this split. As the molting process unfolds, we witness the tarantula's legs twitch and contort as she gradually extracts herself from her old exoskeleton. Well, there's no problem. If you had a gun, shoot him in the head. This delicate operation can take several hours, and the tarantula is extremely vulnerable during this time. Finally, the moment we've been waiting for. Our curly-haired tarantula emerges from her old exoskeleton, revealing a soft, pliable, and slightly discovered new exoskeleton underneath. She may appear smaller and thin at this stage, but this will soon change as her new exoskeleton hardens and she regains her full size. In the days following the molt, our tarantula will remain hidden, allowing her new exoskeleton to harden and her fangs to regain their strength. Typically, tarantula's fangs are black, but right after a molt, they will appear white or even translucent. Then they will slowly darken until they are black and fully hardened. It's the fire. It's the fire. 
It has only been about a day and a half, but her fangs are already a red color. Spiderling's fangs can harden in as little as 24 hours, but a full-grown tarantula can take at least a week before they're ready for a meal. This period is crucial for her survival, as she needs time to fully recover before venturing out again and trying to capture prey. Sometimes tarantulas may consume their old exoskeleton after molting. This process provides essential nutrients, especially calcium, which helps harden the new exoskeleton. Other times, they might weave the exoskeleton into their web burrow, or simply push it out of their burrow, almost as if they're throwing it out with the trash. The molting process of the curly-haired tarantula is a testament to the incredible adaptability and resilience of these remarkable arachnids. It's a reminder that in nature, growth and transformation are essential for survival, but it is rarely ever a comfortable experience. If you find tarantulas molting as fascinating as I do, then please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, and sharing this video with your fellow spider enthusiasts.